All right, guys, so uh, since I started <coughs> this uh, video series about building an uh, updated AEG in 2024, uh, in the first two videos, I talked about the, the Solink brushless motor and gears, and some things has changed since then. So they also uh, sent me this new motor of theirs. It's their new budget line of brushless motors. So this one, uh, I think it's uh, their middle range motor, it's not the cheapest brushless. But this one, you have all the good features of the expensive one. So you can uh, adjust the speed from high to low. I think uh, the low is 80% speed of the, uh, of the full speed. So this one times A, so this will be 31K or 24K. And also it's a one piece, so it has a built-in bearing. Uh, I think they're gonna retail this in a little bit over a hundred USD. And I think this is, this is truly amazing for that price, what you get. Um, <clears throat> and this goes for the motor. Yeah, since it shall. Uh, also, it's compatible with uh, all the ETUs, at least uh, what I have tried with. So, you know, the gate, uh, Jeftron, E-Shooter, the Norwich, uh, Peron, yeah, I, I use it uh, as well. Peron, both their uh, standard V2, all the ones for the GNG add-on, they work. Yeah, so... I would say this would be the best bang for the buck. The brushless motor. I, I personally, I think I will buy a dozen of them. I will put these in every single one of my ages, like short and long, just not needing anti reverse. So to give me, it's so much easier to, to tackle the gearbox. And it's also, as I said, it's much more precise stopping position for the piston. The speed adjustment is nice, but uh, I would still pick the speed I want. I think they will come with two speed. One is 31K that dials down to 24K and one is 35K that goes down to, I think, 28K, which covers up pretty much all you need. Yeah, this one for me is perfect. I would run 31K with a 16 to one. And in case I run DSG, I probably just put in a low. Uh, this goes to the motor and uh, <clears throat> they also send me the budget version of their gears which i think cost about the same as uh shs gears but they they, they did something amazing see the position of this tappet post here so they finally solved this issue that i mentioned back in 2019 or 18 which is the sector, this is 13 to 1, yeah. So on these fast gears, the issue is you often pull back your type head plate way too soon, yeah. It starts spinning and you release it. Uh, let's remove these gears so we have a... Review. <coughs> okay. Don't even know it. Yeah, I don't even know where the shims are for. I think they are top of the spur. Sorry for this. They require quite a bit of shims on their new gears. They are slim, so they fit more gearboxes, but when you have a regular V2, it's just a lot of shims. Okay, <clears throat> so you basically you have release at this point, and depends on your top it. This one not too bad, but you basically pull the top it way too soon. Especially on DSGs, uh, or like if you have some of these top they start like rather soon, or you have a delayer, you you start pulling it 
you don't have enough time. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> start pulling it right when the piston maybe some haven't even reached the end or there the BB have not left the barrel. And my point back then was there is no point to start pulling the tappet before you start pulling the piston. Like you, you can synchronize these two. And that's where these gears come in so handy. The shifted tappet post. I mean, this also would be more stable if you have like building DMRs and you want a really steady nozzle to stay shut uh, all the way while your BB is in there. So this one goes here. This is where you would start pulling your piston. Give your piston head. You, you have the AOE corrected. We run here. Yeah, it's usually around here. See? You start pulling them together. That's the best place to start pulling it. Then you release it. Then you release the piston and you have all this time for the piston to move forward, then get pulled back again. This is so nice. I, I would say this solves a lot of my issues with DSGs, high-speed builds, or even DMR builds where I pre-cock. I have a pre-cocking setting on. <clears throat> and these gears, I think they are relatively cheap. I think below 20 USD. And I think they're really, rather nicely made. You can see the lace marks. I believe they told me it's a uh, Instead of laced from a, a bar stock, it's a machine from steel plates, which means the crystalline structure of these is also better the way uh, your raw material is. Because if you are a bar, the, the structure is like concentric. So the strength of the teeth is not that high since just imagine you roll a, a roll of paper and it's rather easy to peel it off. But if you have a sheet and you cut the gear out, it's stronger that way. So yeah, just a short update on this. I'm really happy with what I see here. And I think these are seriously going to change the how <clears throat> people can build their AEGs from nowadays on. I mean, th these are starting getting affordable with really nice features, not just back then, you know, the warhead that is, so some of the warhead I think like $200. I don't even know why, like what's make them worth that much money. And another thing is <clears throat> these ones are more recess cut, recess cut. So you have more space for your, because the, uh, the warhead and the option number one I tried back then, you have the issue that you have wires, little space for the wires. These you have way more space for the wires. Let's say compared to a, yeah. These are the, the older motor brushless. These are the new ones. So yeah, really happy to see these. Um, <clears throat> I will use them probably more and more in my builds. And uh, I used to should seriously considering them if you are looking to build a decent AG, yeah? Not like budget budget. In that case, you will still probably be using uh, brushed motors. But yeah, these, if you're looking at a serious, if, if you are serious about playing airsoft and you want a gun that lasts a while and performs well, I think these are the way to go.